can talk. Let's do our warm ups. Ankles, knees, hips, shoulders lined up. Activate your core. So those ribs go towards your spine and up, lengthen through the carton. Take a moment, relax your arms. Focus inward. Let the breath bring in awareness. And as you exhale, release any stress. Spread your toes. Get that weight even on both feet. And inhale, arms to shoulder level. Exhale, hands to your heart. Stretch to the front. And clasp your hands behind you. Just gently press the fingers toward the floor. Lift your heart. And stretch your head back. Feel the heart open. And pivot at your hips. Keep those shoulders back as you come all the way down. Move your chin, draw around, <clears throat> circle that neck area, let things release. Lift your sitting bones and bend your knees slightly. Keep the chin slightly in as you wind your way back up again into the back bend. So lifting your heart, stretching your head back, dropping your shoulders and breathing. Feel that openness and then coming upright. Release your arms. Take a moment as you get back into mountain pose, just feeling that circulation begin increasing. And again, arms reaching out, hands to your chest, stretch to the front, and clasp the opposite way behind you. So shift those fingers more in position over, press them down and head back, lift your heart. Feel the back bend, just breathe into it, and then exhale over. Again, deepen as far into that as your body wants. Just relax everything. Lift your sitting bones, let the back of your legs get a good stretch. And then again, work your way back up. Chest high as you get to the top, dropping your shoulders, stretching your head back a little. Spread your toes, no working. And then inhale upright, release your arms. Take a moment, just feel in your body. Bring your feet together, bend your knees, and circle. So make sure your knees don't go beyond your toes. And just let the lower body get a little workout. We're getting that hip area, lower back, everything moving along with the knees. And then stop and go the other way. Feel the ankles, let them move around a little bit. And then release, look to the front, find your spot, and lift your heels. So a little balance here, coming onto the balls of the toes, base of the toes. And then back and forth onto the bottoms of your feet, rolling onto the heels and then up onto the toes. Ankles, knees, arches, toes, everything working. And then release, coming back up hip width apart into mountain pose. Clasp your hands behind your low back and big circles with the hips. Just get rolling around, moving everything. Really circling the hips one way and then the other. Again, not going beyond your toes as you go to the front. And then stop and go the other way. Let the whole lower back hip area get even more circulation going. Stretching through that low back. And again, coming back to the center, just release back to mountain pose. And we'll stretch our sides. So arms out, palms toward the ceiling, hands over your shoulders. Press your hands and bring your arms by your ears. Keep everything straight, shoulders, hips facing forward, and lean to the side. So just push out through your hands, down into the foot you're leaning away from. Feel the ribs stretch and breathe. And then inhale back to the center. Keep the shoulders down, switch the hands and arms by your ears. Stretch it out, shoulders down, lean to the other side. And again, just deepen as much as you'd like with the foot pushing down and the hands away. 
Make sure you're not leaning forward. Opening the legs. Stretch your head. And then inhale back to the center. Separate your hands to shoulder width apart. And then stretch up on one side, coming up on the opposite toes. So lifting the heel, the side of stretch stays flat. Get that whole side opening even more, especially through the hip leg level. And then down and up on the other side. And again, feel what's going on through that hip area as you stretch the one side and flex the other. And then both feet down, both arms up, arms by your ears. Clasp your hands, press the palms to the ceiling. And lean over to one side, pushing out through your hands. Back to the center, over to the other side. And back to the center. Push up through the palms, bring them out to the front, and down. Just relax your arms, and don't forget to do it. And then bring one arm out, palm toward the sea, or fingertips toward the ceiling, bending your elbows 90 degrees. Shift that arm into the middle. Other arm out at shoulder level. Wing it under heel arms. So bring those palms as much together as you can. If that doesn't work, then so the hands together right in front of your ribs. Sink your elbows down and in. Relax your shoulders. And then push your elbows slightly out and bring your hands further up. Take a breath there. And then sink a little bit into your knees, bend them slightly, and then sink into your right foot, get your balance, lift the other foot, and bring your cross. Eagle cross. You need to keep your toes down. You can do that. And relax. And then uncross your legs, standing back upright. Release your eagle arms and fly away. Oh, and we've got to balance the body and do the opening. Arm out, bending your elbow, fingertips up into the middle. Other arm out, shoulder stay down, fling it under, see if you can put the palms together as much as you can. Come back to the knees. Thumbs right in front of your nose, pull the elbows down and in. Push the elbows slightly out and then raise the hands. And again, sink evenly into your knees and sink into that left foot, pointing the right foot and over. Keep the toes down if your balance challenge today, or wrap it back around the road. And again, sinking into your eagle pose, just find your balance. And then again, Unwinding your legs, back up standing, and sliding your arms away in the couch. Feet hip width apart, shoulders relaxing, spine stretching apart, we'll do our twist. Arms at shoulder level, keep the shoulders down, palms up, hands above your shoulders, as your elbows. Bring the arms back by your ears, stretch up, and exhale. Spread your toes, lengthen your spine, and pivot it over in the twist. Keep the weight on both feet as much as you can. Lift the sitting bones and relax. And then inhale your way back up. Stay in the twist, lifting your heart, and pull the elbows back. Take a moment, moment to breathe. And then inhale upright, exhale around to the center, switch your arms, arms back again by your ears. Stretch it out and exhale to the side. Take another breath and pivot it on over. So stay in the twist, weight on both feet, <clears throat> just relax. Lift your sitting bones, stretch your legs, and then inhale, coming all the way up. 
Just notice that hip area. Lift your heart, drop your shoulders, and your elbows back. And again, just stretch it out as much as you can. Inhale, upright. Exhale, round to the center. Shoulders down, fingertips up into extended mountain. Sink evenly into your feet. Pivot forward, arms at shoulder level. Stretch it out and drop into rag bone. Lift your sitting bones, pull the hands behind the legs. Get a really good stretch on your back. And then arms back to the center again. Knees slightly bent, winding all the way back into that pose. And another balance for today. So choose your favorite balance foot to start. Sink evenly into that foot, ankle, knee, hip, shoulder lined up, or active, shoulders back and down, and bring the other foot up. And again, pulling it as far up as it wants to go, find your stability, circle the ankle, both ways. And then bring the ankle across onto the other knee, bending that knee slightly, coming down into a little figure four standing balance, pushing the knee slightly back, hips slightly back. Take a breath. And then straighten the leg out, bring it back down. Exhale. And shift to the other side. So again, spreading the toes, making sure you're not gripping, ankle, knee, hip, shoulder lining up, or active shoulders back and down. Don't forget to breathe. And again, coming into your balance first, bring that leg up. Circle your ankle. Find your stability. And then bringing it across to the knee, bending the other knee, pushing the bent knee back slightly, and coming into your little figure four balance. Spread it out, relaxing as much as you can. And then straightening the leg, bringing it back to the floor. Exhale, that balance stress. Toes angling slightly out. And we'll do our pelvic tilts. So bringing your knees slightly towards your toes, not beyond. Spine nice and straight, shoulders above your toes. Put your hands above your knees just to keep the shoulders where they're supposed to be. And then push the sitting bones back. Feel the back bend as you bring the chest forward. So the shoulders stay basically right above your toes as you go into the pelvic tip. So sitting bones down and forward, ribs coming back. Looking slightly down, the lift forward, bend through the whole spine. And then inhale into the back bend, lifting the heart, dropping the shoulders, and pushing those hips, sitting bones in the way back behind you. Tuck down and forward, and right. And just a few times, breathing into it, inhaling into the back bend. And exhaling into the forward and just really moving through that whole hip area. Back and forth. And then the next time you're forward, pause. And then inhale your way back up into mountain pose. Take a breath and bring your hands to your heart. Take a moment to breathe, let your shoulders relax and look at your hands and bring them toward the ceiling. And a little bit behind you for that back bend once more. Exhaling, pivoting forward, hands coming to the floor. Just drop into rag doll and then slide up into that halfway up stretch. Elbows, knees, spine straight with your hands right under your knees. And then bending your knees, let's go to the floor <clears throat> into our child pose. So hips back toward your heels, hands, palms up, forehead down, and relax. Shoulders relaxing. We'll just breathe, <clears throat> let things release, and relax. <coughs> So 
then inhale, getting up on your heels, bring your legs up to the front into stand position. So pressing out through your heels, pulling your toes back, core activated, and body relaxing. So keep your shoulders down. We'll work the hips a little bit and warming them up. So go ahead, flip to your other thigh. Let the knee come down toward the floor today. If it's tight, as it often is, remember, just relax. You can bring this leg over to the side, but keep the knee and toes up if you do that. It's going to be a little easier through that hip joint. Bring that down. Remember, you can also pad, giving yourself a little pelvic tilt back there and allowing that opening to just release a little bit more easily. A little weight with your hands if you like, but don't push. That creates pressure and resistance. We don't want the muscles releasing. Resisting, we want them releasing. So just let the knee come down as it will, as far as it wants, but don't force it. Feel that hip, lower back area, just let it relax. And then flip the knee into your hands, moving back and forth, or wrapping your arms around as you do that. Just again, letting the outside of your hip get a little bit more motion. If you love it, you can make it higher or closer with your leg or not. And then releasing that leg, notice the difference. So we need to balance it out. Bring the other foot. And again, let that knee come down today. See where it goes. Knee and toes up on your extended leg. Bring it over to the side if that's helping you today. And don't forget to breathe. Notice one side may be tighter than the other. You know why that is. Because we're creatures of habit. And we bring those legs into different positions as we go through our day unevenly. So we do get unbalanced through the hips and hips. So go ahead in yoga, just trying to balance things out a little bit more, relaxing the leg, letting the knee come in. Hands on your knee, but no pressure if you'd like. Always just doing what your body needs to do. And then bringing the foot and knee into your hands, and moving back and forth, or pulling it in more, just Feel that hip rotator giving a little bit more action. Maximize if you love it or not. Always personal practice doing what's right for your body. But keep that core active, supporting your low back. Keep the spine stretching apart up through the crown. And don't forget to keep breathing. And again, when you're ready to release that, just bring it back out. Bottoms of the feet together, turning into butterfly, knees back toward the sides. Clasp the toes, holding the heels in as much as they want to go, and just let the knees come toward the floor as far as they like. They can be up by your ears, that's okay. Just do what's right for your hips. Take a breath, relax in. And bring your heels right under your shoulders behind you, just fingertips down or palms down, whatever works for you. Just a little pressure into the hands, feeling that core activate differently, and those inner leg muscles maybe relax a little more. That's very Stretch up through the crown. Breathe in, and as you exhale, twist. So a little turn to the side, as are in that position. Keep the chest nice and open, and hips, ribs, and shoulder turning slightly toward that one knee. Then lengthen up through the crown, exhale back to the center. Again, take a moment, just breathing and stretching. Breathe in and exhale, turn slightly toward the other side. So just hips, ribs, shoulder, gutted and turning just gently toward that opposite knee. Stretch it up, exhale, turn back to the center. And then release your hands back to your toes. You're going to pivot slightly forward. And again, roll your body over toward the side, side up toward the ceiling, and stretch your head over there. Exhale, turn back to the center. 
And roll to the other side. And again, just feeling through the hips, through the back, what's going on there as you stretch things a little bit more. And then again, roll back to the center. And sit back straight up. Lift your knees, bring the legs out to the front. And we'll pull them over to the side of the mat, coming into staff position. Activate that core. And roll slowly to the mat. Take a moment, recline integration there, just relaxing. Shoulders down. Sitting bones toward your heels. Back gently pressing down, bend your knees, heels right next to your sitting bones, knees straight up. We'll do a little figure four for that lower back and hip area. So bring your right foot up, cross it over the left knee, and take your right hand onto the knee and gently press it away. If that's a good stretch for your back, for your sciatica area, lower back, just let that happen. If you want more, take your left hand behind your left thigh or shin, lifting the foot off the floor, pull that back toward you while you push the right knee gently away. Stretch it as much through that hip piriformis and the low back area as your body would like. And of course, just breathe and relax into it. Exhale any tension. This is a really good one to hold on your own for a good stretch through that area if you're having any hip and sciatica issues. Take a breath, just relaxing. And then bringing your left foot to the floor if you raised it, hands down. Bring your legs straight up, straighten it out, and hump that right back right next to the sitting bone, next to the other one. Pressing the back gently down, we'll do the other leg. So again, left leg comes up, cross it over, and from where the right knee, and push the left hand into the knee just gently. Stay there if that's enough, or lift the foot, or the hand hand behind the side, or the shin to pull that right leg in, or you're pushing the left hand away just gently. And again, maximize or minimize, do what's right for your body, giving that whole lower back area, giving it a good stretch. Exhale any tension, just breathing into it, relaxing completely as you push that knee slightly out. And when you're ready to release this one, just bring your foot to the floor if you raised it, hands down. Lift the left leg, straightening it out, and put the foot to the floor. Take a moment there, bringing your hands to T position for our final twist. Press the back gently down, the feet up, and roll the knees over to one side. If you'd like a little extra in that hip and low back area today, you can cross the knee over first before you do that roll. Knees stay at hip level. Head turns toward the opposite arm. Just let the shoulders relax down to that middle back and allow your body to go into its twist as much or a little as you need on this side. Take a breath. And of course, the want to hold these twists much longer on their own. But we need our relaxation today. So we want it. Release that fairly quickly. So heels toward your hips, roll onto your back, uncross your legs if they were crossed, straighten things out, feet off the floor, cross the other way if you want, and roll the knees at your floor down. Turn your head the other direction, and again, keep the shoulders on the floor. Keep it as far as you want on this side, just letting that hip and low back get its good stretch. Breathing into it, and of course, relaxing. And on your own, hold the twists longer because they're more beneficial the longer you breathe into it and relax. Just exhale in tension, letting the twist go. But for now, 
You know, it's back shoulder hips rolling onto your back. Uncross if you were crossed. Bring the feet to the floor. Slide it out into corpse position for our final relaxation. So if you're leaving that hip area to get a little more work today, you can bring your legs into butterfly, bottoms of the feet together, knees out toward the sides, just letting the knees go toward the floor. And if you like to open the chest a little bit more, arms to T position, bending the elbows up toward the head and into that goddess position. So go ahead and breathe. Exhale, tension, slush through that hip, lower back, lower down. Just let everything relax, sinking deeper into that surface beneath you. Exhale, relaxing completely. Just allowing your whole torso to release and relax, shoulders and shoulder blades down towards your legs. Fingertips up toward the head of the foot and goddess. Arms for the ceiling, whichever position you're in. Let the shoulders release, let it stand, and your body grow heavy. As those knees sink further toward the sides, if you're in your goddess, that is right position if you're eyes. Exhale any tension, just letting everything go. Breathe in, allowing your body to soften and sink, and letting the earth support. <clears throat> As you relax, just let your body deepen into that earth embrace, and let awareness of your body release. As you relax that awareness, your body will relax even further into the earth support. Let's let it go. And as your body releases, let your mind release as well. Allowing the thoughts to drift without attention. It's the job of your mind to produce thoughts. It's your choice whether you pay attention. Let the thoughts just drift away as easily as your body. Body relaxing. Mind just drifting, no content of the thoughts in your focus. Allow your focus to release both your body and your mind, and focus inward only on the peace within. Letting the body relax and the mind just drift as you take a few moments being peace. And as your body relaxes, if that feels really good today, just keep relaxing as long as you have the chance. If it's time to get ready for the rest of your day, just begin breathing more deeply, moving your head side to side gently, drawing energy and awareness with the breath back to the moment, to the room, to your body. As you begin moving gently, breathing more deeply, if you've got your Body and goddess position. Just move your arms, hands down to your knees, raise your knees up toward the ceiling, and press your back gently to the floor. And whichever position you're in, when you're ready for your final yoga heart of appreciation, heels toward your hips and draw your knees up toward your feet. Wrap your arms around you, give yourself that appreciative yoga heart, giving your back a good stretch. 
as you breathe and um, giving yourself that yoga appreciation for the work your body do in yoga today and the work your body does for you every day. And you can just circle those knees, rolling that back around in a little circle if you need it, extra massage. And when you're ready to release, just bring everything straight, bring your feet to the floor, roll to the side, and sit back up, getting ready for whatever's ahead for you today. Thanks for joining me.